1226 on Instagram to see what's trending in your area. On your side, this is News 12 at 6 o'clock. A 4th of July like no other, the president getting ready to speak in D.C. at the annual Salute to America celebration as cases of coronavirus continue to spike around the country. And a big name in Atlanta baseball testing positive for COVID. What that might mean for the Braves, coming up. But first, even though we've seen several 4th of July celebrations canceled due to COVID this year, the 20th annual Boom in the Park celebration is still on and is just getting underway in Columbia County. And that's where we find News 12 Celeste Springer. Celeste, we're told this is going to be a bit different this year. They say Evans Town Center is going to be more like a tailgate party. Yeah, the things are just getting started here in a, at the Columbia County Fairgrounds for the fireworks show, and people are being asked to socially distance tailgate style with their cars a fair distance away from other groups and people. There will be live music tonight, but don't worry. If you do want to enjoy the show, you can tune into it live from here. I talked to one person about what, how he feels about that setup here tonight. It's awesome. I think people need to get away sometime, and whatever the safest way for them to be able to do that is at this moment, you know, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, and as you can see behind me, there is a line of cars way back that way. They are all getting ready to come here and park. That being said, the fireworks are going to be starting in a couple hours, you still have time. As you can see, there's plenty of room and hopefully enough room for social distancing. In Grovetown, Celeste Springer, on your side. All right, thanks, Celeste. That looks like a lot of fun. And Anthony, definitely going to be a hot one out there, but it's a nice better to enjoy the fireworks, if I'm guessing correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, is, it was a very warm day out there. For Belonging to the Lakota tribe. Meanwhile, closer to home, people in Augusta held an event to honor the Georgians who helped create the United States. Augusta's National Sojourners and Webb Lodge hosted a speech at the Signers Monument on Green Street today. The monument is dedicated to the three Georgians who signed the Declaration of Independence over four, 240 years ago. The lodge also celebrating its 200th anniversary this year. Beaches on South Carolina's coast continue to see waves of tourists today. This is a look at the crowds on Myrtle Beach this afternoon. That's as the city has become a hot spot in South Carolina. Horry County saw 350 new cases of coronavirus today. The city also requiring people to wear masks in public. That started on Thursday. And some of Florida's beaches also crowded today despite still spiking COVID cases. Right now you're looking at Clearwater Beach near Tampa. And in Miami, they've already shut down its beaches for the 4th of July weekend to prevent potential virus spread. Florida saw 11,000 new COVID cases today, the most new cases in a 24-hour span. Well, one of Atlanta's star athletes is now among the tens of thousands of people to test positive for coronavirus. Braves first baseman Freddie Freeman is among four Atlanta players to test positive. The team's manager made the announcement today saying that the four-time All-Star has a fever and is, quote, not feeling great. There's also no official timetable for the 30-year-old's return, but the manager added that it will be a while before he can come back to camp. Freeman is now one of the most prominent major league players to test positive for COVID-19. All right, taking a look now at COVID cases in the two-state area. You'll be glad you did. Well, coronavirus made shopping a nightmare after things like hand sanitizer and other health items were in short supply at the start of the pandemic. But there's another shortage now that's affecting businesses in some states. The Federal Reserve says the country is going through a coin shortage thanks to COVID. Amanda Van Allen tells us more. They are running out of cash. How is there not enough coins being distributed around? <laughs> and it's bad for business. Snappy Gas Mart in Cleveland hey, relies on getting coins for change from local banks, but right now that's not an option. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good
good day. It had been about 10 days since the last time we had gotten any kind of currency from them, whether it was paper or change. Seven, eight. And this business is not alone. The Federal Reserve says this is all happening because of the nationwide shutdown orders. When bars, restaurants, and other businesses were forced to close, that broke up the normal flow of bills and coins. Now the bank is giving a limit. Uh, I'm just kind of concerned about the fact that uh, change is not available for businesses like this place here. Russ, a manager at Snappy Gas Mart, is also worried about losing business if he can't offer the proper change. It's considered low. You know, because in the next hour or two, this will be gone. There you go. There's nickels, dimes, and quarters. 20, 30. But luckily... When he told me up there, I instantly was like, man, I have a ton of change at home. I can help him out. Andrew Hoban has been a loyal customer for years. So when he heard about the coin shortage, he stepped in. Got about a close to $73 in change that I have rolled. While Russ is very appreciative... Wow, there's a... You see the day. He'll need a permanent solution. The Snappy Gas Mart goes through hundreds of dollars worth of quarters each week. Thank you very much. Well, the shortage is prompting businesses like some grocery stores to ask shoppers for exact change if they buy using dollars and cents. Anthony? Today we're tracking a couple isolated showers out there this evening, primarily focused around Richmond and Aiken County. The rest of us are on the drier side. These will slowly begin to fizzle out as we continue on through this evening. Most of us should be staying nice and dry as we go ahead and wait for those fireworks to start. And as we continue over the next couple of days, more chances of rain, more widespread rain as we get through Tuesday and Wednesday's temperatures a little bit cooler. All right, thanks, Anthony. COVID might be stopping some July 4th fun this year, but it's not stopping that Nathan's hot dog eating contest we all know and love. Oh my gosh, I can't even look at the screen right now. The annual contest at Coney Island, New York was held this year, but with a few changes. It happened at an undisclosed location with no in-person spectators. One thing did the same, did, did stay the same, a ridiculous amount of hot dogs eaten. Joey Chestnut successfully defended his crown by eating 75 hot dogs in 10 minutes, a world record. And the women's division, Mickey Sudo set a record by eating 